evening, friends, and welcome to, I think it's our 32nd show, Josie. Okay. Episode 2, um, no, episode 12, the second series, right? Okay. Yeah, that's what it is. Josie hasn't been with me for a while. She I was, know, I've been on the road. And it's been forever. It's been forever. So I want to welcome everybody to Healthy Living with Marilyn. If you are looking on my Facebook page, welcome, but my Facebook page where my phone is like 10 feet from me. So if you want to comment, please comment. Please send your emojis, your loves, your your likes, your Mm ha-has, whatever you want to send. Mm -hmm. Not the angry ones. We try to make people as happy as we possibly can. And I promise you, if you comment, I will answer every single one of your comments after the show. Okay. Not exactly after, because i got to take Adrian home, but after the show. Yes. Before I go to bed tonight. Um, seriously. That's <laughs> true. Okay, so um, I'm so glad everybody's here. I want to welcome everybody. We, this is our second show this week. I've done the push. push I know. I'm yeah. proud of you. Thank you. Thank proud you. We had one you. at Comcast with some friends this week, and we're doing this one. So I'm really, really working out of my comfort zone mm-hmm. and spreading the positive energy. Yes. And I'm so glad my co-host, who has been with me since the very beginning, Josie Hopkins, is with me tonight. And I'm so and glad I'm you're so back, excited. Girlfriend. I'm glad to be back. It's been a time, been a moment. I've been on the road, but it's been good. You've been in a train. I've been on the train. I've been to New York. I've been, I've been Hampton. You've been everywhere, yeah. girl. I'm a road runner. You are. <laughs> you, have you been back up north in uh, Northern Virginia recently? Um, no, but I'll be back up there pretty soon because I'm going to have to fly out of BWI to go to Idaho in January. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to try to arrange some more things in the area while I'm up there. Yeah, might as well. Yep. Take advantage of it. Have Good business for will you. travel. I'm so glad she's back. It has been two weeks. I know. It's been a long time, girlfriend. Yes. Yeah, it's been a while. And I want to welcome my yogi. She's my yogi. Yeah. Her name is Adrienne Lynette Burke, and she has a company called Bear Soul Yoga which is down in the Jackson Ward Mm -hmm. area. It's in the neatest place, too. She has a studio behind Sadia's Juice Bar. Mm -hmm. And Sadia's Juice Bar is the absolute delicious, Delicious. such an eclectic, neat place. Mm -hmm. And they have neat food in there. And they have really... Mm -hmm. They have what? I said it's so So good. good. Oh, it is. (laughs) They have chia pudding things mm-hmm. i want to get one of them tonight but a, a beet I thought, smoothie yeah mm-hmm. i thought i better just get the pumpkin smoothie tonight and they are awesome Alyssa makes the best pumpkin smoothie mm-hmm. the best the best and um adrian has um said that she would be on my show tonight and i appreciate that adrian Thanks and i took a, you're welcome i'm so glad that you could be here and um how long have you been doing yoga Oh, man. Uh, I started yoga when I was in college. Well, the first yoga class I took was in high school at the Y. Mm-hmm. So it's been a long time. <laughs> it's probably over 10 years. So how long have you been a yoga instructor? So I've actually, I started teaching yoga three years ago. Three years actually. ago. Yeah. Okay. So I got really deep into my practice first. And then it was really when I saw the benefits, like, you know, when you're mm-hmm. in process, a lot of times you don't realize the benefits because you're focused you know Mm -hmm. it's like I'm gonna keep doing this I'm gonna stick with it and then when I started to kind of see the effects and I was so in the habit um I really wanted to teach so then I was like it's time to get the teacher training and I Mm -hmm. studied with Faith Hunter in DC at Embrace Yoga um, yeah you were up in DC for a while weren't you yeah you lived up there Mm -hmm. didn't you I lived there for five years yeah wow yep that's that's my old stomping grounds those are in so shout out to everyone in D.C. <laughs> you were <laughs> in y'all. D.C. though. You were in, in you D.C. You weren't yes. in Northern I, Virginia. You I never in... lived in Virginia. <laughs> oh, Except I, I was the... born in Virginia. But okay. I didn't live in Northern Virginia. I lived I, I lived briefly in Maryland. Did you? But, yeah, I, I lived inside of D.C. Wow. That is awesome. Now she lives inside of Richmond. Yeah. <laughs> you know, which is way cool. Mm-hmm. You know? I love Richmond, too. I do, mm-hmm. too. I love Richmond, it. It's very convenient. Absolutely. If you haven't been to Richmond, you need to come to Richmond to see me. Um, <laughs> or I'm not too far from the airport, Mm-mm. you know. And, and the train. And the train. Mm-hmm. And 
when you live in the West End, we got the West End, we got the South Side, we got the North East Side, end. we got the East mm-hmm. End, we got the City, we got Shaco Bottom. I mean, there's a lot of places. South of James. But the one beautiful the thing about living in this area mm-hmm. is you can get anywhere within a half an hour. It's yep. so true. Unless so you're true. stuck in traffic where it took me 45 minutes to get over there, it's okay. You know, you just not, you know, rush hour is a totally different ball of wax. Totally. Yeah, totally. I don't think any city's mastered mm-hmm. rush no, hour. No, no, It's no. all a mess. I mean, you can have 10 you lanes of traffic. just try to avoid it if you right. can. Right. You but can that's have, what the yoga's for. You can have mm-hmm. 10 lanes of traffic, you know, five on each side, the way it is where my mom lives in New Jersey, and mm-hmm. you're still stuck in traffic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, but will you endure it? And the yoga... Helps me endure the traffic. Calming. Because it's calming. Mm-hmm. You breathe. Breathing is very important. That's mm-hmm. what Adrian is teaching yes, me. Yes, so important. She plays really cool music. She doesn't just play that regular fall, your, fall to your sleep, you know, <laughs> yoga music. She plays really cool music. Mm-hmm. Really neat music. You know, it's upbeat. It's 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 really good. It, it energizes you. Thank you. But I'm so happy. You, it it keeps that. you calm. I wouldn't say it yeah. if it wasn't true. Plus, all my viewers are watching mm-hmm. us anyhow. So, and again, I want to thank you for joining me tonight yes. and Josie and Adrian. Um, I'm, we're going to be talking about yoga and weight loss. As you all know, I am losing weight. And I lost a pound and a half over Thanksgiving. Yay me. Wow. And the reason why I could do that is because we didn't have sweet potatoes. <laughs> I mm. swear that's why. But it was chasing after my grandsons, too. You know? That'll burn off the energy. Yeah, yeah. That Jacob and, and Sammy, who is, he's a year old and he's just, he's gone. He, <laughs> he's really, really fast. Really fast. I can look one minute and he's gone. Mm. He's that fast. And to keep up with them at my age, it's a, it's a task. Yeah. So, and my kids have been saying, Mom, you got to get healthy. You got to get healthy. So it's like, okay, so I'm working on healthy. Because if the you're one, promoting healthy living with marijuana, right. you got to be the I example. I got to walk the walk and talk the talk, that's and right. that's what I'm you doing. got to be the example. So um, my clothes are fitting me better. Nice. I don't feel like I have to jump from a 20 story window to get in my clothes anymore, which is good. <laughs> or wiggle like a worm, you know, to, to zip up my blue jeans. I know how it goes. I've been there for sure. You've been there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so totally she knows. Been there. I just get away with all my stretchy yoga pants all the time. <laughs> but I've definitely been there. For you sure. have? Yeah, on a serious note. Well, mm-hmm. you know, I was thinner before. I really mm-hmm. was. A couple yeah. of years ago when I had my office, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was thinner. And then my son left to go to L.A. and he gave me two weeks notice. And it's like, for three years, I went on the seafood and eat it plan. And it wasn't eating seafood. It was I saw food and I ate it, which is crazy. It's okay, it's but, okay though. It was. Mm-hmm. It was therapeutic f- for you at the time. It was. And I finally, after all that time, got off the gerbil wheel. Mm-hmm. After all that time. You decided. I decided. Because it's in your mindset, friends. Mm-hmm. And when you yes. get it in your mindset that you are going to do something, it is time for you to do it. Right, Joes? Mm-hmm. First, got to decide before you can act. You can't just go you out and act. You can't just go out and act. You have to make a conscious decision. And you have to make a conscious decision for yourself. And the other thing you have to do is love yourself. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yes. You really have to start loving yourself. And sometimes that's hard when you know when you're going through a rough time mm-hmm. or if you're around a lot of negative people, um you got to get rid of those negative yep. people. You've got to move yourself away from them. Mm-hmm. That's one thing that you really have to do. And surround yourself with people who you want to be around. Surround yourself with people who you want to be like, who mm-hmm. who are going to uplift you, who are going to edify you. Mm-hmm. Yep. And make you feel special as you make them feel special. Mm-hmm. Like I'm always making Josie feel special. You do. You That's know? why I keep coming back. Every That's time. why she- <laughs> <laughs> I love it. She- Thursday is my therapeutic night. <laughs> She has told me that this is her favorite night of the week. It is. So I, that makes me feel good. Yeah. You know, it makes me feel good that this is her favorite night of the week because we have a good time. We laugh. We, and I keep touching that thing. I'm sorry, Xenophon. I'll leave it alone. It's in my way, but I'll let it go. (laughs) I'm not used to having this microphone right between us. It's something I have to get used to, you know, and it's okay. Yes. I guess he needs to paint it red or something, so I just really know that it's there. Because it just sort of blends in with everything, in my opinion. Oh, okay. (laughs) So, speaking of blending in, um, I want to talk about if you are having, if you have parents at home, you know, Mm -hmm. or you're taking care of your parents, or, um, and you want to get away, or you need to get Mm -hmm. away, or you've gotten to the point where your parents are more high maintenance, 
and it's time to um, get some help in. Treat them. Mm -hmm. Right. Treat them, show them a new way to be loved right. by someone who is professional. And really, and can give you a break. And mm -hmm. Angela and Owen Lawrence have a company called All Nurses Care. They're in, they're in oh, Mechanicsville. Wow. Yeah, they're in Mechanicsville. Mm -hmm. They're a husband and wife team. They have nurses and, and CNAs and PCAs mm -hmm. all over this area. Nice. They, and they have them as far too. as Williamsburg, um, Williamsburg Tappahannock. Mm -hmm. Powhatan, everywhere, everywhere. So, and they they help, they help you give you a break. So you, they will have somebody come in and take care of your parents, or if you have a relative who is disabled, or God forbid, if you know somebody who's been in a car accident and they just can't do mm -hmm. what they need to do. And they need some temporary care. And they care. need some temporary care. Mm -hmm. And it's in-home care. And they come to your home. So if you need something like that or you know somebody who is really frazzled because they're taking care of their parents and they yeah, just... caregivers need help. That's Absolutely. right. And Owen and Angela have a way of helping mm -hmm. you get some help so you can get some rest and they've got very loving people and they're all they mm -hmm. go through a whole screening thing yeah and we've actually called them now for my um for my mother-in-law have you mm -hmm. that's great wow. so if you need to call them and they have private duty and they do personal care so if you need to call them um their number is 804-559-0322 and you can call them anytime and they'll answer the phone 24 7 24 7 wow. right wow. Mm -hmm. right and um and what's their website marilyn their website is all nurses care inc com all nurses, nurses care, care inc inc com. Com. and if you want to email them it's info at all nurses care inc mm. com so um, I've known Angela and Owen for a while. They're great. They were mm -hmm. on our they show. Were on, yeah. They were on our show about a month or so ago, mm -hmm. weren't they? Yep. Yeah. And um, I did not realize that they had such a wide area of, mm -hmm. of coverage, uh, yeah. coverage that they coverage, like, like over a 50-mile radius. Mm -hmm. They're in Mechanicsville, um, which isn't too far from here. So if you need to, you know, if you're just frazzled and you just need some help, but you don't want to put them in a, a home. Right. You yeah. want them to be in come their to your home, home in their own right. environment. Mm -hmm. Just give her a call at 804-559-0322. They'll go out of their way to help you out. They're very loving and caring. They're wonderful. Mm -hmm. They really yep. are. They really are. So They're passionate about what they do. And they are. They're very, very passionate, passionate about mm -hmm. what they do. And they care a lot. And they have a lot of caring employees mm -hmm. that can help you out. So give them a call if you're getting frazzled and, you know, you need some help and mom needs some help or dad needs some help or your uncle or aunt or whoever okay. so you what know? else you got there marilyn um well right now we're going to talk more about we're not doing this what else you got marilyn <laughs> i told you that Look, i know we got commercials to do so you know we're well pace that's, this why out. We're, that's why that's <laughs> why that has commercial he lets okay know, you know so um but anyhow um so what kind of classes do you teach and why do you feel yoga is important for weight loss? I want to get your opinion on this. Man, so I actually teach a lot of vinyasa flow classes. So mm -hmm. that's a sequence of postures connected together. Um, but my background is very much from a power yoga perspective and a vigorous vinyasa um, which is very helpful for building heat, but also getting a little bit of cardio in mm -hmm. um, as you're working. You know, we did that cardio breathing thing a couple days ago. Yeah. That got cardio going. Which oh, one? Was it the Breath of Joy? The Yeah. Yeah, Breath of Joy. Yeah. I love Breath of Joy. It um, was really cool. I want to see it. <laughs> I can I show you. Stand up and show, we show us. Okay. The Breath of Joy is three inhales and an exhale. And so it's actually gonna be a little tough to do here because it's a forward fold, but it goes. <sighs> and then you fold all oh, the way. I Isn't like that cool? That. Yeah. I like that. And then you just keep doing it and it actually, it's very cleansing, yeah. um, but it also activates your core. Yeah. Right. And anytime, it does. Yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah, I felt it after I was done and we did like huh. 15 of them. Yeah, okay. we did a few. We did quite you were a few. Counting. <laughs> I was <laughs> I always tell my students, don't count, just get in the zone. Just, and I'm like and I try to watch to make sure, okay, how many are we at? What's the time? All right. <laughs> well the thing was it's like I she's going, so we're gonna do this breath thing and she's showing it and I'm going, huh? 
<laughs> really? Right. I can do this? Yeah, yeah I started questioning. Mm-hmm. You know, I questioned yeah. myself because, because of my age right. and my size. And, you know, and she says, no, Marilyn, But your you body remembers. This. Yeah, I know. Your and muscle remembers. has memory. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that's why I'm going on this. Muscle mm-hmm. has memory. But, it does. Absolutely. It does. And, so, you know... When she was doing this, it's like, okay, I'm going to do this. Because I, when I go to class now, it's like, I have the, I am going to do this attitude. Mm. Not, can I do this? No, it's, I. so Christopher Salem, if you're watching this, I am going to do this attitude. That's the attitude I have. It's in my yes, mindset. I can. Yes, I I'm going to do it. Yeah. Yes, yes, I can. Mm-hmm. Yes, I am. Mm-hmm. More mm. than yes, I can. Mm-hmm. Yes, I am. So Got it. Um, when I come to your class... Which is very very soothing with the cool music and everything. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I just so feel I just feel like I'm in the zone. Yes, I was counting them, but I wanted to see how many I could do before I almost passed out. But I didn't pass out, which was good. No, you're still here. You know, I'm still here, so that was really cool. But I felt so much better after that. It was just it's amazing. It's called breath of joy for a reason. Yeah, it makes you happy. You feel it. Yeah. yeah. And, and it you know, activates you keep, your core. Yeah, yeah, and you keep your core. You know, I'm getting a whole lot better at keeping my core in and I think it's be it's the exercise it's the exercise I do with Aubrey Mm -hmm. and it's the yoga I'm doing a combination of those two and um, making sure I'm getting plenty of sleep so today you know I took a nap I was like I told my husband I said I'm getting off the face of the earth right now I'm gonna lay down for an hour because I feel right now in order for me to function the way I had this week, yeah. go, 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 mm-hmm. you know, um, rest is important. You gotta rest give your body important. what it needs. Absolutely. Yeah. Give your body and if what you're not needs. resting, you're going to hit blowout. And that's one thing that I'm not going to do. Cause normally at three o'clock in the afternoon and it was about three 30 when I said, my body said, you got to go take a nap. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So do that. Take a nap. If you feel you need and you have the time to do it, it's put your put your clock on. Put your I put my phone on. You know my alarm clock. Mm-hmm. And um, a nice take 15 some minute, time. Yeah. yeah, take a power yeah, nap. Mm-hmm. Take a power nap. Yeah. Um, get yourself go to Sadia's and get yourself a cool juice and just sit there for a couple minutes and just meditate. And you, you know, know it's interesting too that you said that because like speaking of weight loss too, a lot of times when people think of weight loss and why. I actually, a reason I was so excited to talk about yoga and weight loss is because we get focused so much on doing, 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 and seeing like, okay, did I lose it or not? What's going on? What's going on? But really it's about, like, I like that you said moving from the I can attitude to the I am, Mm -hmm. because that takes out the need to do anything. Mm -hmm. You just are. Mm -hmm. And when you are something and you're changing your intentions and your mindset, then your body falls in line. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you're, you're powerful and you're a yogi, you're a vinyasa person. Well, I guess I can't, this is in the way of my process. If you're doing, if this is who you are and what you're doing. And, and that's really how I think about weight loss is like, you know, it's not, I, I was never focused on, well, okay, I can't on say never. Scale. We've all watched the scale. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've all done it. But, but you can tell, you, you can yeah. tell the difference in your body. Exactly. You know, you can tell in your clothes and you feel different. Uh-huh. Exactly. You know, so you, you don't even different. have to worry about the scale. No. no you know, I don't sometimes you don't scale. see it on the scale, but you feel the toneness. Some, no, because you're developing muscle. Mm-hmm. And some, right. And people gain weight and lose weight mm-hmm. in t- time of year. Like, mm-hmm. I know in the winter, that's my, like, that's my be very active time. But also it's where, like, the weight wants, you know, all the all the soul food comes in. And we were talking mm-hmm. about sweet potatoes. Because we my got favorite. Thanksgiving. Yes, we got Christmas. Christmas. And they're a female you know? food. Yeah. Did you know that? Yes. They I love. They're magical. Food. Get sweet potatoes. I love mm-hmm. sweet potatoes. Yeah. If you're going to eat any type of potato... Learned a lot of sweet potatoes. You can put yeah. some cinnamon yes. on them. Molasses you know, is molasses. my favorite. Oh, you taught me about that. Cinnamon, that was a great. I did that. Molasses. Egg. Did you? Yes. Some it was a great. Women sweet potatoes with mm-hmm. molasses, mm. full of iron, folic acid. Really good, depending mm. on the time of the month. Really any time of the month, honestly. But <laughs> any you know, time of the day. Any time of the day, any time of the month. But it's great. So good for you. Mm-hmm. But guys can eat them too. You know? Yes. Mm-hmm. Because Absolutely. the one thing about sweet potatoes, they don't have the starch that the potato mm-hmm. has. You know, and they don't have the deadly nightshade that the potato has. Mm-hmm. So if you're having problems with arthritis, there's certain... And yam is good yeah, for and you. There's, there's certain foods that you should not eat if you're having arthritis mm-hmm. problems. Oh, because the Because they have yeah. the nightshades in yeah. them. And um, I don't prescribe or anything. That's my disclaimer. Mm-hmm. I don't treat anybody. But I give information. And um, 
What you need to know about deadly nightshade, you don't want to eat tomatoes, potatoes, eggplant, peppers, or okra. I don't like okra anyhow. It's too, too I slimy. I don't do any of those except eggplant. You do eggplant? Mm -hmm. I, I like love eggplant. tomatoes. I love, I love, I love, I love tomatoes. tomatoes. I love tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I'll and eat I love tomatoes eggplant from now lasagna. until the days, you know, the sun goes it's down. It's tough. And, and you know, too, like... That's the main thing. I feel like when I think of like yoga and weight loss, both, it's really about finding what works for you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and being, once you're conscious about it, then there's a commitment involved. Mm -hmm. you right. Know? And you make that shift. You right. make that shift. You only have one body. And speaking of only having one body, m another friend of mine who is my Hydrated. personal trainer. She's my personal trainer mm -hmm. because I needed to have some people in my life mm -hmm. that were going to keep me accountable, that were going to call me or text me and say, and spend some time with me and show me the best way to move my body mm -hmm. to trim up. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't care. The weight will come off. I know I want to trim up. Mm -hmm. And I've had two dreams now where I've had core. Y'all might think that's funny, but... I have had two that dreams. That means you're activating it. That's sure. right. That's Absolutely. right. And mm -hmm. I am determined to get my core back. And not Judy because I want to wear high heels because I really don't. <laughs> but <laughs> right. I want to get healthy. I, and, you know, I want to trim up. I want to be able to wear the clothes I used to be able to wear. Mm -hmm. You know, they're still sitting And you want closet. your body to be he healthy. Right. Because you I want, want to be a representation of healthy living with marijuana. That's right. So I'm walking the walk yeah. and talking mm -hmm. the talk. So I... Met Aubrey Iker, who was on our show a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Were you here when we had Aubrey? Yeah, I you was, were here yeah. when we had Aubrey. I can always remember when it's you're okay. here. It's okay. I'll tell um, you. <laughs> but she has an invitation for everybody. Oh. Um, yes, and it's wonderful. She is offering a six-week program that will take you to the new you. Ooh, yep. for the new year. And she's going to have weekly in-studio workout sessions. She's going to give you a full exercise plan. She's going to give you nutritious guides, guidelines, mm -hmm. and she's going to make you accountable. Okay. So you might have a little bit of homework to and do. And so like how, do you, do. how do we do that? Well, you can get in touch with her at 804-367-3589 or contact her at Aubrey mm -hmm. at richmond-wellness.com. She's down in the fan. She's on Robinson. Robinson. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not far from her. And she's, yeah. She, <laughs> she's and she's got a nice little studio down there, and she worked my tail off this week. <laughs> but I was determined, you know. And when I go in there, because I've got skin in the game, I'm determined mm -hmm. to get myself trim. I'm determined to get myself healthy. I'm not eating sugar. Sugar was hard to get off. Sugar is a drug, friends. If you mm -hmm. are eating too much sugar, you need to get off it. It is worse than any of the illegal drugs out there. It is mm -hmm. not good for you. If you're going to eat yeah. something sweet, monk fruit is good. It's a sugar mm -hmm. or stevia. Now people say, I don't like stevia because it has an aftertaste. I don't taste the aftertaste. Maybe because mm, I, I used like to a always nice have it in my... raw brown, my, if I'm going to do any. Yeah. my um, I used to grow stevia in my garden, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, and it's green. So if you're getting stevia in the grocery store and it's white, it's that means green. it's been processed. And <laughs> the it's green been through the chlorine, better. so that's how mm -hmm. they make it white. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, find other ways. Eat more fruit. You know, mm -hmm. people say, well, that will start with other things. It's like, I'd rather eat the fruit than eat... The five pound bag of sugar. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, watch what you're eating. Make sure when you're eating over the holiday, am I right, that you eat healthy. Mm -hmm. If you're going to have some pie, make it a make it a healthy pie. Mm -hmm. You know, or just have a little piece of it. And then stay hydrated and because stay, that'll help flush it. <clears throat> I talked about this a couple of days ago on the show in Comcast to find out if you're hydrated, which none of my guests knew. If you take your pan and pinch oh, it, yeah. and if it stays it up, stays. that means you're dehydrated. Mm -hmm. If it goes yep. down, that means you're hydrated. And they say, I didn't know that. So I'm yep, telling you, that. if you want to make sure that you're hydrated, take your skin and pinch it up. Now, yep. I'm a little bit dehydrated because it's up a little bit. So I need more water. Guys, we're drinking water here. <laughs> we don't have tea. This Let's is real water. It's H2O. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, drink some water. We're all drinking water, Joe. Right. Yeah, we're putting the pressure on you, girl. So, um, so... But you got some information about some water, too, there, don't you? No. Oh. No, no that was because... <laughs> I thought you had a commercial on water. No, I don't have a commercial on All right, water. darn. That's okay. That's okay. But Aronda Young, I'll just mention okay. her name because she's a friend. She's the Culligan lady, and if you need any, mm -hmm. um... Good water, get in touch with Aronda Young, but I do not have her phone number on me right now, so... I bet it's on want, the bottle. 
No, it's and not. No, it's not? Mm-mm. Because it would be her phone number. And she's not going to put her phone number on the bottle, girl. So, anyhow. But water, just make water sure that you're key. drinking good water. Because if you're drinking it from the tap, I, I turned my faucet on today to put some water in to make some tea. Okay? Because yeah. I don't always like to use the microwave. That's not the greatest thing mm, to use. I don't have a microwave. That. And yeah, we have two. I had to put in my spa kitchen. wrap in the oven today and wrap it in Reynolds wrap because... <laughs> you did what? I put my spa wrap in the oven to your, heat it up. Your spa wrap. I have a spa wrap because my shoulders oh, tight. Oh, right. my your spa shoulders wrap. were tight? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's like a heating pad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's so I, like, I what is a spa wrap? Did she <laughs> mix something? Like or, a, yeah, I is wrapped this a it in Reynolds clothing? wrap and put it in the <laughs> oven. <laughs> nice. <laughs> My husband nice came home and he thought something. I was cooking. I was like, no, that's my spa wrap. <laughs> it's funny. Put in some I've never holes. heard it that call like that, but that's a good one. I call it an herbal heating pad, but that's just me. But make sure you're drinking plenty of water. I, like I said, I opened up my, you know, turned the water mm-hmm. on, and all I could smell was chlorine. Mm-hmm. So I boiled the water, of course, mm-hmm. to make tea, and I knew that it was okay after that. But right, right. You know, when you have chlorine in your water, when you when you go to the dentist and they give you fluoride, you don't want to take that stuff. Bromine, those are the three um, mm. on the periodic table. Those are the three elements that are on before you get to iodine. So if you're taking mm-hmm. a lot of that stuff and you're, you know, swimming in a chlorinated pool or whatever and drinking fluorinated water or using fluoride toothpaste. I don't use fluoride toothpaste Me anymore. Me either. Um, you've got to make sure that you're taking a little bit of iodine because those three um, elements, iodine mm-hmm. is at the bottom. So it can impact, it can impact mm-hmm. your thyroid, mm-hmm. just to let everybody know. Um, I've talked about that on, and I'm not a chemist. Mm-hmm. My videographer is a chemist, but I'm not a chemist. So, um, But that is one thing that people need to be more cognizant of. So if you smell the chlorine coming out of your Water, tap water out of yeah. your tap water, go boil it and then yeah. drink it. I have a filter on it, yeah. But I still don't drink it. Well, I really don't either. I have a filter on my refrigerator if I get mm-hmm. it out of there. So, but anyhow, yeah. so what do you suggest? How many times a week do you suggest people do yoga to get the, so, the core? Right? So, I mean, the thing about yoga, I feel I feel so called to put out this part because yoga really just means self like it means Mm -hmm. like to yoke so whatever you as your true self needs is what yoga will do for you at a time i mean i weighed almost 200 pounds at one point what (laughs) i was was excited so i mean those who know me on facebook you can just look through my old pictures and you know it's funny um sadia at the juice bar where bear Mm -hmm. soul is actually one day i came into work and she's like adrian you know I just want to let you know, I, I actually just, I, I saw a few of your old pictures. I was just kind of, you know, Looking just in. on Facebook. Well, it was like when we had just become friends and just mm-hmm. like getting started. She was like, yeah, you know, I like, we just added you. So I was just looking in your pictures. Uh-huh. And she didn't really, you know, she kind of was like, how do I approach this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, what you did you used see? to be? <laughs> right. You used to be. But, you know, it was great to see that, to hear what she said. And she's like, Adrian, you know, I didn't know how far you've come. Mm -hmm. And I was like, thank you. You know, that means a lot. A lot of times with yoga, like when we show up to teach yoga, people don't, you know, it's about being present. We don't know where we're going. What we did in the past is not done. Right. Mm -hmm. It's done. But sometimes I'm like, I wish people did know how much work I've put into this because it, I realized when she said this to me, and you know, some other people have said this as well, but it inspired her because she saw my process. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, as someone, you know, I've actually, I've been vegan before. I'm a mostly plant-based, I eat a mostly Mm -hmm. predominantly plant-based diet. um, And I've been doing that since 2006. And that's been a big factor as well. Um, But even that, as far as like wrapping my mindset around why I should be mostly Mm plant-based and really meditating on that. I mean, all of these things are included as your personal self-care practice, which in essence is yoga. So, I mean, I just want to say like some, it's not about losing or gaining weight. It's more about what you need because Mm -hmm. I know I, I needed to lose weight. It was, I knew it was affecting my health, high Mm -hmm. blood pressure and kidney issues running my family pre-diabetes so Mm -hmm. for me I was like you know I need to do something about it and and you're young right yeah and I and I mean I have students who 
you know, not everyone needs to lose weight, but yoga will do what it needs to do. Some people need to gain weight and actually like build strength. And so it's what, it's about finding the balance of finding your natural state and what your state of resiliency is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what I'm working on. And, um, and you're doing awesome in class, by the way. Oh, awesome. I got to tell everybody on yes. Monday. <laughs> this was so cool. I go to class on Monday. I mean, I really, it was something that I put it in my schedule. Because mm-hmm. I have to put it in my calendar. Because if it's right. not in my calendar, it I might exist. schedule something else and it's, it, <laughs> it goes. Right. And it's like, oh, I really want to take this. Well, it didn't put it in. I put something uh-huh. else in or something. Or I need to write or whatever. So anyhow, I had it in my schedule. I, and I signed up for it. You know, I through yeah. the mind body thing. Mm-hmm. You know, I, mind body app. So I signed up for it like on Friday, because mm-hmm. I was that committed. It's like I'm going on Monday. I am going Monday. I'm I'm taking the time out and I'm leaving early so I can get down there early. Mm-hmm. So I get down there and you know she's already there and I'm I get my mat out and everything and we're doing the yoga and we're doing the breathing thing which was so awesome. <laughs> but I don't remember when we did this but I looked over at the lady that was. Um, in class with me, mm-hmm. she was a student, and she's up on her shoulders, you know. And I said, and I didn't, I didn't hear her say the shoulder stand. Right. I didn't hear her say it. I don't know why. Maybe because the music. I was so into the music and so into right. it. And I looked over and I said, "What is she doing, Adrian?" She says, "Oh, Adrian says she's doing the shoulder thing." Marilyn, you could do this. Well, when somebody says I can do this, even though I don't think I can do this, you know. But you want to try it. I wanted to do it. I said, I can do this. She says, yeah. So it took me about three tries, didn't it? Mm -hmm. And she got up there. But I got up and I I kept the pose for a couple minutes, a minute maybe, something like that. And I got down and said. Got some breaths in. I did. And I said, if I don't get anything else done the rest of the day, (laughs) I don't care. Yeah. Because it was so much effort. For me to do mm-hmm. that, and it, you accomplished. It was a huge was a effort. When you don't have core friends, it's a huge effort to do. But you do have core. You found yeah. your core in that path. I did. It's I did. It's there. there. The effort it's is there. the practice. Mm-hmm. That's, right. That's right. it. I know. mean, I'm getting core. We yes. all have core, but mine's a little mm-hmm. flabby right now. Yeah, I admit it's a little flabby. But <laughs> you want to fine tune your core. I want to fine tune <laughs> my core. Don't we all? Yeah. I don't all. need the six pack. I just need to refine it. You know. Maybe I get it, so who knows? Yeah. You know? We just but want I to have a, a, a healthy pack. I, I want a healthy pack, right? <laughs> I like that. Healthy but I, pack. I feel better this week. I oh, feel trimmer. My clothes are fitting better, you know, and I'm just real happy about that. Mm-hmm. Really happy about that. And I've been working hard this week to do that, and I'm going to continue. It shows. Thank you. And I'm going to continue. And on Saturday, oh, this is going to, I'm still, I'm gearing up for this. Mm-hmm. I'm not getting scared. I've got the mindset. I'm going to do hot yoga with Aubrey on Saturday. We'll be talking about that next week. Uh-huh. Yeah. We are definitely going to be talking about that yeah. next week. It's going to hot be yoga. great. And she, I love Adrian's hot yoga done too. hot. She loves hot yoga. And now's really a good time to do it because it's cold. Because it's getting cold colder. Yeah. Watch it be 80 degrees on Saturday <laughs> or something. You know, just, you know, it's supposed to be nice, but not, it is. yeah, it's, it's supposed to be, be a really nice weekend. Nice. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you know, one thing too, like with yoga, before I started teaching yoga, when I was really into my practice and I was Mm -hmm. very focused, I did a lot of hot yoga. Did you? That was my main practice, actually. Mm. Yeah. Um, I practiced doing the Bikram tradition of hot yoga, um, Mm -hmm. hot vinyasa classes. I actually did a teacher training with core power yoga um, in addition to my 200 hour just to get like the hot yoga certification Mm -hmm. part of it. Um, I was going to say, do you ever anticipate... Um, instructing that she has some type Possibly. of hot. You have, yeah, don't you okay. have like a hot yoga? Well, it's a what warm I will yoga. Say is well, we do have very well working heat in our studio now. Yeah, <laughs> so hot on, I had to move. She my, has non-intentional hot yoga. <laughs> right. I had to move my my mat because uh-huh. the the hot air was blowing right on okay. me. Okay, like, that heat I, works. I can't stay right here. Yeah. This mm. is. But so keep an eye on the schedule because I don't want to give away anything yet. So everyone keep an eye out because we will okay. be adding some new yeah, warmer pe- options in the That's studio. Good. We'll okay. call them warm, intentionally warm okay. options. So how can people get in touch with you? I want everybody to know how can they get in touch with you. Yes. You know, one, stop by the studio. We're in the back of Sadia's Juice Box. It's a cool studio. Too. It's so cool. I really, I just love coming to work because I go in and I... All the things that I feel like I was doing to, like, 
get to this point. And I mean, I'm not done. You know, it's mm-hmm. you're not you're done. We're work in progress. It's a work in progress. Yes. It's We're all a work in progress. Once you commit, you're a work in progress. And but it's so interesting because I walk in and I'm like, man. I had, you know, I've done the juice cleanses. I've made these vegan treats that Sadia makes. Like, mm-hmm. I was figuring out how to make them in the kitchen because I was so intent on not eating sugar. So I was like, mm-hmm. I got to figure out how to make a dessert so it looks like I have dates. So, <laughs> so, my so it's not like you're coming into your yoga studio bypassing a donut stand. Exactly. Right. You know, exactly. It's conducive to the lifestyle that you're living. Yeah. yeah. And it all, it's, so it, it's good to walk into that and then walk into the back where it's just, a studio Mm -hmm. and it's so i mean it's calming you gotta Mm -hmm. come because it's all the healthy options are all in one place so calming i know where it is you know you just go in and it's like that aha moment when i go there it's like oh i'm so glad that means a lot we put a lot of work into that that. i'm so glad moment you know and we all you all need to go and find wherever you live Find that aha moment. Yes. Find a mm-hmm. place where you can go and you feel comfortable and the people there are loving and they throw out positive energy mm-hmm. and find that aha moment. There's a lot of places around here that have aha mm-hmm. moments. Oh, yeah. but um, And if nowhere else, just outside. Find, right. Find a tree. Find a tree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go to the park. Go for a walk. Yeah. You know, just put your feet in the grass. It's feel still warm feet, enough. Yes. It's still a little warm where you can... Take your shoes off and walk in the grass a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know, I think it still is. You know, get yourself yes. grounded. Or my favorite place in the whole wide world, as Jacob would say, Grandma likes the beach. Oh, oh I yes. love the yeah. beach. Yes. I'm from the Stone beach, Rish. I'm from Virginia, Virginia Beach. Area. Beach? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So I, I miss the ocean. All well, the I'm time. from the yeah. Jersey Shore, so I'm oh, from yeah. the beach too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the shore. But um. Well, they can also go to BearSoulYoga.com. Actually, we just launched our website. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, we. I mean, since we were in a studio, we just. Man, people were ready for yoga, so we said, okay, let's go ahead and open. Mm-hmm. And now we have our website done and ready, and I'm so excited. We just launched it last week right before Thanksgiving. Great. Right. So, right. so bearsoulyoga.com. So spell it for them. Uh, bear, B-A-R-E, soul, okay. S-O-U-L, yoga, Y-O-G-A. Dot com. com. And we're yeah. on Instagram at Bear Soul Yoga. Facebook is Bear Soul Yoga and Wellness. Yeah. So we're all over the internet. They're all over yes. the internet. Um, I'm excited to meet everyone. Right. Um, start doing something for yourself, especially over the holidays. Mm-hmm. Because the holidays can, those sugar cookies can grab you by the rear end. I hate to say it, but they can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a lot of people during the holidays, especially this time of year, you know, they get depressed, they go through sad, right. you know, yeah. and that creates emotional eating. And right. then the spring comes and everybody's feeling down. They want to get out. But they've just had this winter that they've been introverted. And right. so, you and know. And they've been so sedentary. By mm-hmm. the seasons like that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I finally, it was really just yoga. Well, I should also mention and kickboxing. Mm-hmm. Yoga, but consciously doing cardio kickboxing. Mm-hmm. And I actually teach a yoga yeah, kickboxing I teach, class I haven't been now. Oh, class. nice. But, I mean, it's kind of my mixture of, like, the things that worked for me. But it's so important for me to do that type of stuff this time of year because mm-hmm. as soon as it's cold, I feel it. And then mm-hmm. I crave sugar because I want, like, the comfort. The comfort. And food. then it makes yeah. me feel worse because it affects your it emotions. You. It yeah. Affects, yeah. yeah. We it's all a have cycle. This, yeah. It's so it's important a cycle. to yeah. get off of sugar and start eating healthy and Stay away from the cookies. I know the cookies are cool and they look beautiful. I think of them as plastic Just have now. Healthy cookies. Get, yeah. Yeah, but sometimes healthy cookies. It's like eating a potato chip. You no. just can't eat one. <laughs> you know. Got to make some like good raw sugar-free dates. Yeah. Yes. I get in the kitchen with some raw oats, some mm-hmm. almonds, some dates, mm-hmm. and just grind it all. Put it in a blender and a Nutribullet and. Pack it together. The and other the fridge good thing is, is cookies. Go it's to delicious. Sadia. She's got these great balls that are awesome. Oh yeah, they're so good. They are awesome. She's got some fall balls out there mm. that have ginger and turmeric and. Because mm-hmm. I think I had a turmeric and... beet something when I was there. Mm, so good. Yeah. yeah, it's still and there. It it's so good. not only delicious; it's nutritious, mm-hmm. which is important. So um, you can't beat nutritious, delicious food like that. Mm-hmm. People if you don't live in this area, healthy is not good. Doesn't taste good, but it really does. It does. Totally you can make does. it taste good. Yeah. And it feels good. I mm-hmm. even make broccoli taste good. I don't know how. No. But, you know. 
I like broccoli. Me too. Yeah. I, I love broccoli. Well, Zen has taught me how to like broccoli. He's also taught me how to like lima beans, too. Which oh, is, I love mm, lima beans. Yes. Yeah, well, when my mm, mom made them, they yes. tasted like chalk. Yeah. And uh, the, consistency was, the consistency for lima beans for me was like chalk when I was growing up. Mm. And it was gross, so... But anyhow, um, you can learn to like vegetables. Just spice them up a little bit. Put a little turmeric on them. Turmeric mm -hmm. is great. Um, it's great for your joints. It's great mm -hmm. for your health. It's great for your blood circulatory Sorry. system. It's just a great spice. There's a lot of spices you can use in your kitchen that will help you feel better, that will mm -hmm. boost your immune system and boost your energy and get your positive mojo going. Turmeric's a great one. Turmeric is a great one. It is a great one. Um, and speaking of healthy, my friend Lisa Healthy mm -hmm. is having a whole new level of energy nutrition class mm. on December 9th, which is a week from Saturday. Okay. And um, she's going to have it from 10 to noon. And she changed the address. I had a different address on Tuesday, but this is the new address. It mm -hmm. is 3231 East Weyburn, W-E-Y-B-U-R-N Road. I know where that is. Um, in Richmond. Well, it's on the south side. Yeah, it's that 23, far from me. 235. It's not too far from you? Mm -mm. So, and she's having right that. Down Forest Hill. What? Right down Forest Hill. Right down Forest Hill Avenue. Mm -hmm. She is having that from 10 to noon, and she's going to be talking about um, the foundation of life and how to get your vibrational field uplifted. Mm. So, Wonderful. Isn't that great? Yeah. That's really a good, good one. That's a good one. So um, you can get in touch with Lisa at lisa at lisahealthy.com. Um, and her phone number is 804-539-3251. And she has a great blog that she just wrote a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. um, on lisahealthy.com called And Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep. Because she teaches sleep at the U of R, the University of Richmond. She is the adjunct professor, the sleep adjunct professor at the um, And that's so important. U of R. And sleep is so important. People, you need. I, I love sleep. Oh, I do too. That's why I took a nap today. <laughs> Especially that with is... like weight loss and working out. Like when you do, 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 you have to rest so that your body can catch up. But right. it actually well, helps. It's, it's the more rhythm. It, it's a part of the net of the rhythm. Yeah. It for your body to. Your body. Yeah. Because totally. your body needs that downtime. Your body. When my mom would say, you know, I didn't get anything done today. I said, Well, what'd you do? Oh, I slept. Well, you're rejuvenating your body. Mm -hmm. That is how you rejuvenate your body. Plus, when you get up, you're taller. It doesn't last long, but you're taller. <laughs> you are. Didn't you know that? <laughs> yes. I never heard it. Well, maybe I have, but it doesn't, you know, it didn't register. Actually, but yeah. when you're laying down and gravity is yeah. not pulling you down, pulling you down, you are a little bit taller when you oh, get up. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Very Just cool. FYI. It's one of those little. I'll measure myself when I get up and say. Little pieces of information. I'm actually five six and a half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. There you go. You should put it up on the wall. You know, measure yourself like we did when we were. Oh, kids, I still know? got the measuring for my grand from my from my children, and I've added the grands beside it. Oh. There <laughs> you it. go. There you go. So the other thing I want to talk about. Um, this, I, I am a contributing author in this book called Yes, You Can Go for Achieving Your Dreams. And the subtitle is Short Stories for People Who Have Done It. Mm -hmm. I've done it, but I'm doing it again. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it again. And um, you can get this from me. I don't have it on Amazon well, still, yet. Still, I think Michael's zooming in on it. Are you zooming in on it, Michael? Yeah. You got it? Um, I don't have it on Amazon yet, but you can get in touch with me. Um... You can email me through my www.healthylivingwithmarilyn.com or you can call me at 804-350-0034. They're 15 bucks. Nice. And if you get it from me and you um, you buy it off of me, I will autograph, autograph it. Autograph, yeah. Yep, I will autograph it. So you can get an autograph copy for $15. Just give me a call, send me an email. And uh, we can go from there because I've still got some books up. I've given some of them away, but um, as prizes and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I need to monetize this. So that's my goal. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so you can do it. You can do it. You just have to put your mind to it. It's a big mindset thing. I've been learning a lot about mindset recently, and that's why I'm doing for me. 
every day I spend a, some time doing something for me. Mm -hmm. I'm not running around doing for everybody else and I'm doing for me. And um, I have a colleague who lives up in Vancouver, British Columbia, mm -hmm. which is three hours behind us. So Dove, if you're looking and watching us, this is the book by Dove Barron. It's called Fiercely Loyal and How High Performing Companies Develop and Retain Their Talent. Mm. It's great to develop it, but you've got to figure keep out it. ways to retain your talent and keep your key people. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and not only in a business, but keep the key people that are important to you in your friendships, mm -hmm. in your, your sphere of people that are around you. Wow. It's very, very important. So it's called Fiercely Loyal. I know Josie is fiercely loyal to me as I am fiercely loyal to Josie. Mm -hmm. And um, Friends have each other's back. That's right. We have each other's back. And mm -hmm. it's important to find people who have your back and mm -hmm. who you have their back. Like, I feel Adrian's got my back and mm -hmm. I've got her back. And, you know, it's very important to develop those type of relationships. Mm -hmm. So... Dove Absolutely. is going to be on my show in February. I'm excited about that. Oh, we're wow. going to do a Zoom. He's not going to be here bodily, but we're going to do a mm -hmm. Zoom. And um, so if you would like to be on my show and you don't live near me, let me know. Zoom and we can, you. we're going to figure out a way to Zoom cool. you mm -hmm. in. It's not hard to do. It's not hard yes. to do. Mm -hmm. And we're going to Zoom you in. What gave me the, um, the idea to do that about two months ago when we had... Um, Rhonda was on my show, mm -hmm. and we did the PowerPoint with the GMOs. Yeah. Uh -huh. Remember that? Right. And I have the TV back here, and we had PowerPoint for because she was yeah. talking about mm -hmm. GMOs. And that's another thing that we got to bring up. GMOs are, people say, well, what are GMOs, Marilyn? They're genetically modified organisms. They mm -hmm. are vegetables, bad, bad, seeds bad, that bad, have bad, been, bad, bad. they are bad. Seeds that have been developed and hybrid in a laboratory. Mm -hmm. And so if you're looking in the big box stores in the spring and you see, you're looking for a tomato and you see mm -hmm. a hybrid, don't get that. Get the heirloom mm -hmm. if you're getting the plants. Because now they are making, and my husband told me this, they're making several different potatoes that are GMOs. Mm. They are making several different apples that are GMOs. Yeah. Apples that do not turn yellow. That's a bad thing. Well, apples that don't have seeds either. Yeah. Oh gosh. And you cut them and they the, and they, and the, they never turn yellow. They never no, they, they never, never turn brown. Yeah, they never turn brown. No. That's not good. No, no, that's not good. That's I had one that I kept out for 2 weeks and then says, yeah. "What are you doing? Is that a, that's your experiment? It shriveled up, but it never turned yellow." But it yellow. never turned brown. Do you know why oh. it never turned brown? Because it was irradiated before mm -hmm. it came in the country. That the government <sighs> is making companies irradiate <laughs> so the sad. food and <laughs> it's yep. true. Yeah. It's true. You have to find ugly apples that don't that are not shiny mm -hmm. that don't have the wax on nice, them. Nice ugly fruit. Yep, ugly, ugly veggies. Fruit. Yeah, ugly veggies. You mm -hmm. know, you need to find the ones that have like the little brown spots on because they're the organic. And if it says organic, it might not be organic. So Marilyn's going to tell you how to determine that. That's right. Um, when you in the produce section, mm -hmm. it's got a five-digit number on the on the label. If it starts with a nine and has four digits after that, that means it's organic. If it has a four digit and starts with a four over three, it's not organic. It might be an mm. okay vegetable or fruit, but there's no way it's to tell. not organic and there's no way to tell. And months ago, I bought a package of tomatoes that said organic. And when I cut one open, it had no seeds in it. Mm-hmm. No, see, and no. it said it was organic, and it's like that's wrong. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is wrong. But the other so thing you that said a four or a three, if it starts with a four or a three, it's not organic. It okay. has a four-digit number. Got it. yeah. You need to find the one with the five-digit number that starts with a nine. Okay, good. To okay, know. the five-digit number, and sometimes people mix the organic with the non-organic, so yes. you have to be careful. Yes, and you have to watch and read. You know, look on the internet to see what. It's coming out with the organic and the non-organic mm -hmm. and the GMOs. They're not good for us. Our our bodies can't digest it. When Josie and the I were little... Your body doesn't recognize what it is. Right. Well, when Josie and I were little, there was no such thing as celiac disease and gluten-free nope. and yeah. all that. Nope. It's because there was no ADD, of the... no ADHD. ADHD. There was nothing like that. Very little cancer. Right. Before it was... 
Who do you know that has cancer? Now it's, who do you know that doesn't have cancer? Man. Truly. Yeah. It's Mm -hmm. true. No. I was talking to somebody last night that says she lives in a cancer area where all her friends are dying Mm -hmm. and her neighbors and a lot of people are dying where she's living right now. And Mm. it's sad. It's very sad. So take care of yourself. You got this beautiful body. It's a temple. Now, my body's in transition. It's, it's doing a its temple. thing, still a but temple. it's still a temple. The temple is there. That's right. Mm-hmm. It's just a bigger the temple. The outer looking, part, you know, is I'm looking who at you the are. little, the smaller temple. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm working on. But I'm doing this for me. You have to learn to do things for you, right, Adrian? It's, you know, as you said that too, like, there's so much happening in the world and the environment that we're always affected by. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, for me, like, yoga helps me take control over something because, you know, I can't, I may not have control over the air quality in my community, for example. Or the Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. We right. can't get rid of Wi-Fi. Yeah, you know, you know but I do have control over strengthening Which my you body. Which you do to you for to yourself. Mm-hmm. Right, and doing the yoga where you can strengthen your body and you're telling your body to detox, detox, detox what's not needed. Like when and we increase think of your core, oxygen. Increase the oxygen, mm-hmm. right. You detox what, and if you, you detox what you don't need and you increase the oxygen, to replace your body in those places after you've detoxed. Mm-hmm. Right. And I mean, that's why I'm such an advocate for yoga now because that you have control over that. It's like if you're by yourself and alone, you got your yoga. Right. And you can get the strength and get the energy. And then, you know, because I'm so worried about us getting so like stressed to the point of like, well, I can't do that. I can't do that. And it's like when we have that, then we have the mindset of like fear Mm-hmm. And it's so, it's like so many things we have to manage now, you know. My mother always told me there's no such word as can't. Yeah. No, that's not in my, no that is can. not in my dictionary. You can try. That's not in you my know? vocabulary. But I believe can do. You can, mm-hmm. absolutely. You can do anything. I am are the two most powerful words mm-hmm. in the English language. And those are the two most, I am and I will. Mm-hmm. They are staying in my vocabulary for the rest of my life because I am going to, and I'm telling everybody this, Mm -hmm. I am going to start taking more yoga classes during the week Mm -hmm. because Mm -hmm. it's important for me and then even doing it at me. home. I mean, on Tuesdays, I right. do yoga for cancer patients. Right. right? Oh, so so that's my that's my weekly. But when I'm at home, there are things that we do in class that when I'm at home, I practice. And right. that's what so you should. So that when I'm going the, back, you know, that, yeah. okay, I've developed a little bit of strength in this area, you know. That's but so I, great. Yeah. And even if you do 15 minutes of yoga a day, mm-hmm. you know, in your home, mm-hmm. get your yoga mat out and just do 15 minutes of yoga a day. And then go on with your day. It doesn't have or, to be. Or take or a bed. yoga class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. I start my workout in the bed in the morning. Oh, Me do too. you? Because mm-hmm. I journal in the morning. I do my meditation in the morning. While I'm there, I'm doing my body stretching and doing my breathing to get my body well, energized yeah, I have before to, I get up. I have to get my body energized. I, what I, I do, do the same is thing. Mm-hmm. I rotate my ankles mm-hmm. because, yep. you know, several months ago I sprained my right. left ankle. And so it's very important for me to get my joints moving, mm-hmm. you know, and everything moving and my right. neck moving mm-hmm. and, you know, before you get out of bed. And then I stand, when I stand up, I just stand there for a minute. My dad taught me this yeah. a long time ago. be still. And I just stand there to get my balance because if I get up and just start walking, sometimes I'll fall. Right. Mm-hmm. And I can't afford to fall anymore because I'm still dealing no, with my real. rotator cuff. Mm-hmm. And it's healing because muscle mm-hmm. has memory, but... You know, you just, you got to baby it. Yep. So, and I'm still babying it. So, um, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm working on it. Our practice makes progress. That's right. Already perfect. That's right. It's progress. Right. And getting the mindset, making sure that you drink plenty of water. You're supposed to drink half your body weight weight in water. Mm -hmm. But if you drink um, like an eight ounce cup of coffee, you got to drink 16 more ounces on top of that. Now, I'm not saying yeah. if you weigh 150 pounds, you got to start drinking 75 ounces of water. If you float haven't away. started doing this, <laughs> well, yeah, you'll, you'll float away. But you don't want to start drinking that water gung-ho. You've got to work yourself up mm-hmm. to it because yeah. you can't Just pace yourself. Water. Yeah, pace yeah. yourself. You got it because sometimes when I drink too much water, I feel it sloshing in here. That is not a good feeling. Not a good feeling Definitely. at all. Yeah. And I've done that before. And Me I'm, too. I'm, okay. <laughs> well, because, you know, And it's like, so where's yeah. it going? i got to get no. rid of this, you know? And you're going like this. Yeah. 
and it's not moving anywhere. You right. Know? <laughs> so you just got to just sort of just keep. So I'll do some yoga or mm-hmm. I'll walk. You know, I'll walk around the house and stuff just mm-hmm. to get it going because sitting there, it's like it's. <laughs> You feel like yeah. a sloshing veg- vessel. Right. You, know? <laughs> you gotta use it. You know, and you really gotta use it. And people probably laughing. You guys go ahead and laugh. You know, um, it's really important to make your life happy. Yes. Yes. And if you need to, you know, move a ri- move a little bit around, you know, to make your yeah. life happy, to make yourself happy. Movement is movement is fun. Movement is awesome. Mm-hmm. Yes. Movement is yep. because, like you were saying, in the wintertime. We're, a lot of us are sedentary in the wintertime. Mm, I love outdoors in the winter. You know, you've got to get up. Some of the fresh outdoors. air. Yeah. It, it's like it comes all the way through. Yeah. Well, the only thing I don't like is when you open the door and the air, the wind hits you right in the face. Mm-hmm. It takes my breath all away. All the way through. Yeah. <laughs> it, it takes my breath away, you know. And I remember when I was in college and I the college that I went to was up on a hill and it was very mm-hmm. hilly and sometimes when you walked around one of the buildings it would just stop oh, the you. Oh, when yes. The wind would just Ooh, stop yes. you to the point where you can't breathe. Yeah. yeah. You know, and yeah. it's like, oh. I remember that. I went to school in Massachusetts in Rhode Island and yes. So you can relate. Oh, heck yeah. And it's not mm-hmm. that's why I don't like wind. I don't like the <laughs> fact that it takes your breath away. Wind is good because yeah. it moves the virus that side, and, that and sideways the energy, snow you coming know. at you. Mm-hmm. But when oh, it's gosh. coming into your face, that is <laughs> no that time fun. of year. Yeah. 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 And so you know, you have to be careful, mm-hmm. but um and walk carefully if you've got a pair of shoes on that's not comfortable, but they mm-hmm. look great. Find some shoes that are comfortable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. They might look great, but you might pay for it later. Um, a lot of people who wear heels, and I've read this and I've done research on this, and um, I have not had this happen, but a lot of people who wear heels, it pushes your pelvis to, mm-hmm. in, to the front, and a lot of people have UTIs mm-hmm. when they wear t- heels too much. So if you're a woman who wears a lot of heels, yeah. watch that. you might got to make sure you're drinking plenty of water because you don't want that that those you're you're pushing it your pelvis inverted. forward yeah. and it closes a lot of things that shouldn't be closed mm-hmm. and um so be careful of that so that's take why take care of yourself take care yes. of yourself i mean heels are great looking yeah. heels are great looking but you know if they're uncomfortable don't wear them. yeah mm-hmm. you know if if you if they're hurting your back don't want to find some cool shoes mm-hmm. that you really like you that you know and i don't know why we got on the point of shoes because but i it's guess okay. So that's it's, it's a whole body. It it's is. About the it whole is body. taking care of yourself. And if you, you know? don't know what how, what it feels like to take care of yourself, come out on Sunday to Artwork Studio. That's right. Come we and see Josie. We have a party with a purpose. We're doing free pampering with Soul Purpose and Longevity. Kick and off where the is holidays. it? Where is it? It is 320 Hall Street. It is in Manchester, just across mm-hmm. the bridge. So from 3.30 to 5, you can come. You can shop. For your natural body care, you can get your hands pampered. Are you gonna have network? Are you gonna have damsel? I won't have damsel there this week, but oh. tomorrow I'll have damsel at Inns Bazaar at Innsbruck from ten to two. Now, what's the address for that place? Um, the Markell Building in Innsbruck. I okay. don't. I think it's High Woods. I think um, it's on the left as you're going mm-hmm. north. Yeah, but there'll be signs out. There'll yeah, be signs good. out. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's gonna be it's great. from 10 to 2. From 10 to 2 tomorrow that'll is be awesome. Damsel at Inns Bazaar. And then Sunday is Soul Purpose at Artworks. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in contact with us. What's your email address, girlfriend? Josie, J-O-S-I, Hopkins at gmail.com. Yep. Yep. And mm-hmm. please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Healthy Living with Marilyn Living. If you are watching this on YouTube, mm-hmm. because we simulcast it on YouTube and my Facebook page, which yes. is so incredibly cool. Um, like. Yeah, isn't that cool? It's really cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I've got 110 subscribers. I'm pushing for 200. I'd like to get that, you know, by February, which would be way cool. Mm-hmm. Um, put your comments in there. On, on YouTube, if you're watching it, give me the thumbs up on YouTube, mm. um, share it. Um, and if you are, if you have been commenting on my Facebook page, I promise I will get back with you tonight. I promise. And I want to thank everybody for joining us. Thank you, Miss Josie, for everything. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Adrian. Cheers. It was a great show. <laughs> and remember, keep your mindset going. Change your life today and be amazing. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.